Deputy Lieutenant, Honorary Recorder, Honorary Free Persons of the Borough, Past Mayors, the Bishop of Woolwich, Members of the Armed Forces, Faith Leaders, Fellow Councillors, Ladies and Gentlemen, Boys and Girls. There is no better example of the impact Her Majesty, Queen Elizabeth II, has had on our country than all of us here today. People of all ages, genders, faiths, and all with their own reasons to be here and honour our late Queen. The Queen's legacy spans generations. It spans borders and divisions. She was an inspiration to everyone. Her dedication to the communities and people she served was unwavering. Her quiet leadership, the rock that supported our country through unprecedented times of success and despair. She was our queen. There won't be many people who remember or were even alive to experience life before her. We probably all spent last week comparing stories about her. Maybe some of us are even lucky enough to have met her and we shared those moments too. I have never met the Queen, but the Royal Borough of Greenwich has met her many times. Even before she was Queen, she would come on visits with her father, King George VI. Back in the 1930s, she attended the National Maritime Museum as Princess Elizabeth. Fast forward 75 years to 2012. She returned once more as Queen to reopen the Cutty's Ark. In those years, she made countless returns to the borough as queen and as princess. Our strong royal ties we remain very proud of led us to gain our royal status as part of the Queen's Diamond Jubilee in 2012. I said this yesterday at full council, but what an honour it is that we can all hold in our hearts that we received our status under Queen Elizabeth II's reign. We will miss her constant presence in our lives, but we'll all be better for having known her as our Queen. Please can I ask all those that are able to stand as we sing the hymn, I vow to thee, my country. <laughs> of my love the love that asks no questions the love that stands the test that lays a altar the dearest the best the love that never falters the love that pays the price The love that makes undaunted The final sacrifice And there's another country I've heard of long ago Most dear to them Thank you. Please be seated. Please can I ask the Deputy Lieutenant for the Royal Borough of Greenwich, Dr Peter van der Merve, MBE, to come forward. A reading from Psalm 139, verses 1 to 16. 
You have searched for me, Lord, and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. Before the word is on my tongue, you, Lord, know it completely. You hem me in behind and before, and you lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too lofty for me to attain. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me, your right hand will hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will hide me and the light become night around me, even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like the day, for darkness is a light to you. For you created my inmost being, you knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place. When I was woven together in the depths of the earth, your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained to me were written in your book before one of them came to be. Here ends the reading. Thank you. May I introduce our first musical performance, Vijay Jabtap, sitar player and teacher who played for Her Majesty the Queen at Westminster at the Commonwealth celebrations a few years back.
A reading from the Gospel of John, chapter 14, verses 1 to 6. Let not your heart be troubled, you believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may also. And where I go you know, the way you know. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Here ends the second reading. May I now introduce you to the second musical performance tonight, Bantu Arts, a Ugandan arts production company who specialise in cultural performances. Jambo mbo 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 mbo
Thank you. Can I ask on the leader of the Royal Borough of Greenwich to come forward, please? Thank you. Deputy Lieutenant, Mr. Mayor, Honorary Recorder, Honorary Free Persons of the Borough, past mayors, the Bishop of Woolwich, members of the armed forces, faith leaders, councillors, ladies and gentlemen, and those watching online. I welcome you all to Woolwich Town Hall for this multi-faith commemoration service in memory of Her Late Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Today, our thoughts take shape in silence. Today, we remember and the life and legacy of our nation's greatest monarch and longest serving. Her Majesty's life was one of sacrifice, duty, and honor. Hers was a life well lived. She gave human form to the best qualities of British people. Love for her cuts across all political divides. Love for her cuts across all geographies. She was a national treasure, a guiding light, the protector of our nation's unique identity. Her late majesty guided the nations of the Commonwealth away from the uncertain post-war years into a new age of development, social progress, and technological innovation. She was the first monarch to give a televised Christmas address. She always moved with the times during her reign. We saw the royal family move from television to Instagram to TikTok. When I think of the legacy of Her Majesty, I think first of her dedication to public service. I think of her unshakable commitment to us, her determination to serve, the strength of her character, the love in her heart, the love she had for her people. Her Majesty was celebrated across the globe for her conviction and commitment to the people of the Commonwealth and other nations. She was the great roaming monarch, always on the move, always ready to go, here or there, to undertake her duties of public service. She is the best traveled monarch in human history, which speaks volumes to the dedication she showed to her nations. Nobody could ever doubt her commitment to country, to family, to us. It was often remarked how remarkably warm she was, how kind she was, how she made all her guests feel at ease. Queen Elizabeth was a generous supporter of many fantastic charitable causes. From supporting war veterans to action for children, she embodied service through action. She stood for people. She did not prejudice people. She embraced them. She did not judge nor scorn. She was open-minded and open-hearted. She was and continues to be an inspiration. As public servants, I can only hope that we follow her example and serve as she did with strength, conviction, and courage. And we, as elected officials, and of representatives of this great royal borough of Greenwich, owe it to her. That we see the best in each other and build on the bonds of friendship between us with love, humor, modesty, empathy, and understanding. Her Majesty was a woman of faith, and I want to address that. In times of loss and hardship, I am reminded that life is brittle. 
I am reminded that despite our best efforts and planning, there are no guarantees. I am reminded that there is no higher calling than to act in the service of others, to help our neighbours, to help our friends, to help our brothers and sisters, to support one another as we are doing so today, to come together. In this, faith is vital. Faith guides us. Faith gives our life direction and purpose. Christianity teaches us of the kingdom of heaven, of a place eternal where, me, where we may rest. The Quran reads, every self will know death. It is Allah that calls us back. Hinduism speaks of the samsara, of the circle of life and death. Judaism teaches that every moment of life is precious and of infinite value. And for those that have no religion, faith transcends. Faith in yourself, in others, in your communities remains powerful. Our faiths, although different, are united by a common purpose to better our lives and the lives of others. In that, we share love. In that, we share determination. And now to her legacy. We announce to our residents our new king, Charles III, as our new sovereign. As we enter this new age, many of us will be wondering what the future holds. I, for one, have found confidence in the deeds and words of our new monarch. As Prince of Wales, Charles championed human rights. He stood up for freedoms of expression. He demonstrated a keenness to build bridges between religions and cultures, famously learning Arabic to gain a deeper understanding of Islam. He both understands and celebrates the diversity of the United Kingdom, and in this, I take courage. King Charles III has declared himself not just the defender of the faith, but the defender of all faiths, of all the people of the United Kingdom and the Commonwealth. To us, he pledges to serve with loyalty, respect, and love. And with these values, I thank you. Our residents, our faith leaders, I thank everyone observing the national mourning of our late majesty, the Queen. Of course, we will always remember her late majesty. There will never be another queen like her again. But now we look to the future. Now we say, God save the king. Could I ask Dr. Terry Gabessi, MBE, Honorary Freeman of the Borough, to come forward, please? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, in the name of God, the most beneficent and most merciful, Deputy Lieutenant, Mr. Mayor, Honorary Recorder, Free Person of the Borough, Past Mayors, the Bishops of Woolwich, members of the Armed Forces, Faith Leaders, fellow councillors, ladies and gentlemen. I know you all share my profound grief at the news of the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. In Islam, during the time of grief and sorrow, we say the following words. We say, Inna lillahi, Wa inna ilayhi It means to God we belong, 
and to him we shall return. On behalf of my Muslim community and all faith communities, and, my own, and on my own behalf, on the passing away of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, I would like to first of all take this opportunity to extend our most sincere, deepest and heartfelt con con condolences to His Majesty King Charles III and to the entire royal family. I don't think this three minutes tribute can ever justify her 70 years of distinct service as a sovereign, as a leader, high diplomat, a mentor, a wife, a mother, a grandmother, and a great-grandmother. On, on her 21st birthday in 1947, she said, I declare before you all that my whole life, whether it be long or short, shall be devoted to your service and the service of great imperial family to which we all belong. So she did. In seven decades of her extraordinary service, 15 prime ministers served under her, starting with Winston Churchill, and last one being Liz Truss. Queen also served as head of Commonwealth nations with over 2.5 billion people living on those 54 countries where she met countless heads of states, probably over 270 changed hands and, and nations within her seven, 70 years of service and committed, committed service. Her Majesty leaves behind one such amazing legacy. Like many of you, I love that also. Her passion for the charitable sector. That she was patron to hundreds of charities, done remarkable work under her patronship, and indeed raised billions of dollars or hundreds of millions of dollars, and that was just one side of her giving. And you all know Her Majesty's love for her corgis. And I don't think you can refute that. But in addition to enjoying her love for the corgi, she also did and performed constitutional duties. But she was also a great supporter of our supports. She enjoyed football, just like all of us do. She enjoyed cricket and rugby at the same time. And she sent out messages of Congratulation, good wishes to all supporters and players. And she made sure the ones who excelled in those games, they were greatly appreciated. Once she said, football is a difficult game, it's a difficult business. And aren't they prima donnas? But it's a wonderful game, she said. And in 2016, during the Olympics at Rio de Janeiro. She said, to be inspirational, you don't have to save lives or win medals. I often draw my strength from meeting ordinary people doing extraordinary things. Volunteers, carers, community organizers, and good neighbors, unsung heroes, whose quiet, Dedication makes them all very special. They are all inspiration to, the knows, to those who know them. With her extraordinary and selfless public service and her tireless endeavors to welfare, um, for the welfare of the people, her dedication to her country and the example she set, set out for us during her reign, Her Majesty will always be remembered affectionately. During her televised sweet speech, which is in 2020 about COVID, she said, while we have faced challenges before, this one is different. This time we join with all nations across the globe 
in a common endeavor. Using the great endeavors and advances of science and our insti instinctive compassion to heal, we will succeed. And that success will be belong, belonging to every one of us. We should take comfort that while we may have more still to endure, better days will come, better days will return. We'll be all friends again. We'll all meet our families again. As a woman, she also spoke about the women's rights. And, and here she refers to the voting rights for women in 1950s. Her Majesty, she, as I think leader hacked into my computer, some of the things actually I wanted to say, he's already said it, but you know, I think we were on the same page. She started using technology. You know, she was on Twitter. She was on Zoom. She was conducting meetings um, using social media, video calling, all sorts of things. Her first message actually went out in 2014 using Twitter when she said in a message that it's a pleasure to open Information Age exhibition today at the Science Museum, and I hope people will enjoy visiting it. So she made sure that whatever message she wanted to pass to her people, she did that. It didn't have to be phone anymore or the television. Over the years, I have personally enjoyed two important annual events. The state opening of parliament and the Christmas speech on the 25th of every year. Where we all sat together, like families, after eating our lunch, dinner, and made sure that we don't miss it where she conveyed the message of peace, love, faith, and touched on the issues of actually state of, uh, state of economy, as well as global affairs. Queen had a deep respect for all faiths and beliefs, and today we celebrate that by extending our profound gratitude to her, for her service and support to the faith communities over several decades. We also take great comfort in knowing that His Majesty, King Charles III, with so long association and appreciation of faith community, will continue to enhance the existing contact with the people of all faiths. I pray for the strength, wisdom, peace, and stability during this difficult time of our nation. Now, on a personal note, my personal remote affair with the royal family. As a teen, I used to read, used to read so much about actually the royal family. I was still in, in my back home in Pakistan. That I felt like that I was part of the family. You know, it's just like a, you follow a Twitter uh, account and later you think that, wow, uh, Joe Biden is your friend now. So I did the same at that early ages. So when I came here, I thought, oh, well, it's a piece of cake. I'm going to a country where I know the king, I, I know the prince and the whole family. So I said, I'll just knock at the door one of those days. And I said, well, you know, can I come for a cup of tea or coffee? I assumed that will be as a, just a quick fix for me. And the closest I got to was actually a fountain in the middle of the mall, sitting there, taking pictures, and sending home, saying, I, I'm at the palace. It was just one-sided affair. So I ended up there. Having said that, I'm truly humbled to say that I've had the honor to meet Her Majesty on a few occasions. She was always warm, gentle, gracious, and extremely generous with the time which she spent with everybody she met. 
And after having spent 20 years in Britain, I actually finally met the person I wanted to meet, Prince Charles, when he presented me with MB 19, 20, uh, 2014. But I haven't given up on the cup of tea yet. And I hope, and uh, he will one day, and I will one day sit with him for a cup of tea, and we'll all remember our beloved queen, we will continue cherishing her work she did for the state, for the country, for the government, and for the world and Commonwealth with great love, admiration, and respect. May light perpetual shine upon her. I mean, God save the queen. Go on. God save the queen. King, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's going to take a long time before actually we get used to saying it, and, I, and forgive me, but a God save the king. Thank you. Thank you for these reflections. May I now call upon Alex Cromwell to perform the last, last post. Those of you who are able, please stand. Now we come to the multi-faith prayers. Iman Swali, Greenwich Islamic Centre. Please step forward.
أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين In the name of Allah the most gracious the most merciful all praises and thanks be to Allah the Lord of the universe the most gracious the most merciful the owner and the only ruler of the day of recompense. You alone, Allah, we worship, and you alone, we ask for help. Guide us to the straight way, the way of those whom you have bestowed your grace. Compassionate, gracious God, we come to you today to thank you for giving us a chance to live with our beloved Queen Elizabeth, who recently left this world to come into your presence. Lord Allah, have mercy on her and give her strength and pardon her. Be generous to her and cause her entrance to be wide. May she find love and peace in your presence. Let your faithful servant enjoy your glory forever. Amen. Dolly Baldido, Greenwich Hindu Temple. Please come forward. Namaste, everyone. Om Sri Ganesha Namaha. O oh Lord Ganesha, please remove all our obstacles. Om Asatoma Sat Gamiya. Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya, Mrityurma Amritam Gamaya. O Lord, from the unreal, lead us unto the real. From darkness, lead us unto light. From mortality, lead us unto immortality. Om Siddhi Buddhi Prade Devi, Bhukti Mukti Pradayani, Mantra Murti Sada Devi, Mahalakshmi Namostate. O Mother, give off health, strength, and wealth. Please be guiding us and keep us in your presence. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Peace, peace, peace. Thank you. Dr. Jakir Sikon, OBE, and Gurpreet Singh on behalf of the Woolwich Gurdwaras. Good evening. Gurpreet Singh will do the prayer and I will have half a minute at the end of the prayer to just give the gist of the prayer. May I please request everyone to stand up now for our Sikh prayer. Thank you very much. Tudya Gherdas Humari Jiyu Pind Sabti Rao कहो नानक सब तेरी बढ़ियाई कोई नाव ना जाने मेरा अरदास एक ओंकार श्रीवाहि गुरुजी की फती वार श्री पगोती जी की पात शाही दशवी प्रथम पगोती सिमरका है गुरु नानक लें ते आए फिर अंगद गुरु ते अमरदास राम दासे हुई सहाय अर्जुन हरगो बेंदनाओ सिमरो श्री हरराय श्री हर कृष्ण ते आईए जिस डिठी साब दुख जाए तेग बहादुर सिमरे आए कारणाओं निदयावेत आई 
ਸਭ ਥਾਈਓ ਸਹਾਈ ਦਸਵੇਂ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਸਿੰਘ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਸਭ ਥਾਈਓ ਸਹਾਈ ਦਸਾਂ ਪਾਸ਼ਈਆਂ ਦੀ ਜੋਤ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਦੇ ਪਾਠ ਦੀ ਦਰ ਦਾ ਧਿਆਨ ਤਰਕੀ ਬੋਲੋ ਜੀ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਪੰਜਾ ਪਿਆਰਿਆ ਚੌਹ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜਾਦਿਆ ਚਾਲੀਆਂ ਮੁਕਤਿਆ ਹਠੀਆਂ ਜਪੀਆਂ ਤਪੀਆਂ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਨਾਮ ਜਪਿਆ ਵੰਡ ਛਕਿਆ ਦੇਖ ਚਲਾਈ ਤੇਗ ਵਾਹੀ ਦੇਖ ਕੇ ਅੰਡੜ ਕੀਤਾ ਤਿਨਾ ਪਿਆਰਿਆ ਸਚਿਆਰਿਆਂ ਦੀ ਕਮਾਈ ਦਾ ਧਿਆਨ ਤਰਕੇ ਬੋਲੋ ਜੀ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜਿਨਾ ਸਿੰਘਾ ਸਿੰਘਣੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਧਰਮ ਹੇਤ ਸੀਸ ਦਿੱਤੇ ਬੰਦ ਬੰਦ ਕਟਾਈ ਖੋਪਰੀਆਂ ਲੋਹਾਈਆਂ ਚਰਖੜੀਆਂ ਤੇ ਚੜੇ ਆਰਿਆਂ ਨਾਲ ਚਰਾਏ ਗਏ ਗੁਰਦੁਆਰੇ ਲਈ ਕੁਰਬਾਨੀਆਂ ਕੀਤੀਆਂ ਧਰਮ ਨਹੀਂ ਹਾਰਿਆ ਸਿੱਖੀ ਕੇਸਾਂ ਸਵਾਸਾਂ ਸੰਗ ਨਿਭਾਹੀ ਤਿਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਕਮਾਈ ਦਾ ਧਿਆਨ ਤਰਕੀ ਬੋਲੋ ਜੀ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਪੰਜਾਂ ਤਖਤਾਂ ਸਰਬੱਤ ਗੁਰਦੁਆਰਿਆਂ ਦਾ ਧਿਆਨ ਤਰਕੀ ਬੋਲੋ ਜੀ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਪ੍ਰਿਥਮੈ ਸਰਬੱਤ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਅਰਦਾਸ ਹੈ ਜੀ ਸਰਬੱਤ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਜੀ ਕੋ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ 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 ਚਿਤ ਆਵੇ ਚਿਤ ਆਵਨ ਕਾ ਸਦਕਾ ਸਰਬ ਸੁਖ ਹੋਵੇ ਜਹਾਂ ਜਹਾਂ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਜੀ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਤਹਾਂ ਤਹਾਂ ਰਸ਼ਿਆ ਰਿਆਇਤ ਦੇਗ ਤੇ ਫਤੇ ਬਿਰਦ ਕੀ ਪੈਰ ਪੰਥ ਕੀ ਜੀਤ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਸਹਾਈ ਖਾਲਸੇ ਜੀ ਕੇ ਬੋਲ ਬਾਲੇ ਬੋਲੋ ਜੀ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਸਿੱਖਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਸਿੱਖੀ ਦਾਨ ਕੇ ਸਦਾਨ ਰਹਿਤ ਦਾਨ ਬਬੇਕ ਦਾਨ ਵਿਸਾਹ ਦਾਨ ਪ੍ਰੋਸਾ ਦਾਨ ਦਾਨਾ ਸਿਰ ਦਾ ਨਾਮ ਦਾਨ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਅੰਮ੍ਰਿਤ ਸਰ ਜੀ ਕੇ ਦਰਸ਼ਨ ਇਸ਼ਨਾਨ ਚੌਂਕੀਆਂ ਝੰਡੇ ਬੁੰਗੇ ਜੁਗੋ ਜੁਗ ਟਲ ਧਰਮ ਕਾ ਜੈਕਾਰ ਬੋਲੋ ਜੀ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਸਿੱਖਾਂ ਦਾ ਮਨ ਨੀਵਾ ਮਤ ਉੱਚੀ ਮਤ ਪਤ ਦੇ ਰੱਖੇ ਆਪ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਹੇ ਅਕਾਲ ਪੁਰਖ ਆਪਣੇ ਪੰਥ ਦੇ ਸਦਾ ਸਹਾਈ ਦਾਤਾਰ ਜੀਓ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਨਨਕਾਣਾ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਤੇ ਹੋਰ ਗੁਰਦੁਆਰਿਆਂ ਗੁਰਧਾਮਾਂ ਦੇ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਤੋਂ ਪੰਥ ਨੂੰ ਵਿਛੋੜਿਆ ਗਿਆ ਹੈ ਖੁੱਲੇ ਦਰਸ਼ਨ ਦੀਦਾਰ ਤੇ ਸੇਵਾ ਸੁਭਾਲ ਦਾ ਦਾਨ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਜੀ ਨੂੰ ਬਖਸ਼ੋ ਹੇ ਨਮਾਣਿਆਂ ਦੇ ਮਾਨ ਨਿਤਾਣਿਆਂ ਦੇ ਤਾਨ ਨੇ ਓਟਿਆਂ ਦੀ ਓਟ ਨੇ ਆਸਰਿਆਂ ਦੇ ਆਸਰੇ ਧੰਨ 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 ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਆਪ ਜੀਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਹਾਜ਼ਰ ਨਾਜ਼ਰ ਜਾਣਦੇ ਹੋਏ ਆਪ ਜੀਆਂ ਦੇ ਚਰਨਾ ਕਮਲਾ ਪਾਸ ਸਮੂਹ ਸੰਗਤ ਦੀ ਅਰਦਾਸ ਹੈ ਜੀ ਆਪ ਜੀਆਂ ਦੇ ਪਾਵਨ ਬਚਨ ਨੇ ਜਿਹਾ ਚਿਰੀ ਲਿਖਿਆ ਤੇਹਾ ਹੁਕਮ ਕਮਾਏ ਕੱਲੇ ਆਵੇ ਨਾਨਕਾ ਸਦੀ ਉੱਠੀ ਜਾਏ ਦੇ ਮਾਵਕ ਅਨੁਸਾਰ ਆਪ ਜੀਆਂ ਦੇ ਦਰੋਂ ਘਰੋਂ ਵਰਸਾਏ ਹੋਏ ਹਾਰ ਮਜੈਸਟੀ ਦਾ ਕੁਵੀਨ ਵਿਜਲੈਥ ਸੈਕੰਡ ਸਤਿਗੁਰੂ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਜੀ ਜਿਨੀ ਸਵਾਸਾਂ ਦੀ ਪੂੰਜੀ ਲੈ ਕਰ ਮਾਤ ਲੋਕ ਤੇ ਆਏ ਸਨ ਸਵਾਸਾਂ ਦੀ ਪੂੰਜੀ ਨੂੰ ਪੂਰਿਆਂ ਕਰਦੇ ਆ ਆਪ ਜੀ ਦੇ ਚਰਨਾਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਾ ਬਿਰਾਜੇ ਨੇ ਸਤਿਗੁਰੂ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਜੀ ਤਿਨਾ ਦੀ ਆਤਮਿਕ ਸ਼ਾਂਤੀ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਤਿਨਾ ਦੀ ਰੂਹ ਦੀ ਕਲਿਆਣਤਾ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਸਮੂਹ ਸੰਗਤ ਦੀ ਅਰਦਾਸ ਹੈ ਜੀ ਤਿਨਾ ਨੂੰ ਆਪ ਜੀ ਨੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਚਰਨਾਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਦੀਵੀ ਨਿਵਾਸ ਬਖਸ਼ਿਸ਼ ਕਰਨਾ ਜੀ ਪਿਛੇ ਰੋਇਲ ਪਰਿਵਾਰ ਨੂੰ ਸਾਕ ਸੰਬੰਧੀਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਦੇਸ਼ ਵਿਦੇਸ਼ ਦੀਆਂ ਸੰਗਤਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਪਾਣਾ ਮੰਨਣ ਦਾ ਬਲ ਬਖਸ਼ਿਸ਼ ਕਰਨਾ ਰੋਇਲ ਪਰਿਵਾਰ ਨੂੰ ਚੜ੍ਹਦੀ ਕਲਾ ਬਖਸ਼ਿਸ਼ ਕਰਨੀ ਆਪਣੇ ਦਰ ਤੋਂ ਪਿਆਰ ਇਤਫਾਕ ਦੀ ਦਾਤ ਬਖਸ਼ਿਸ਼ ਕਰਨੀ
ਸਰਬਤ ਦੀ ਕਾਰਜ ਰਾਸ ਕਰਨੇ ਸੇ ਪਿਆਰੇ ਮੇਰ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਮਿਲਿਆ ਤੇਰਾ ਨਾਮ ਚਿਤ ਆਵੇ ਨਾਨਕ ਨਾਮ ਚੜਦੀ ਕਲਾ ਤੇਰੇ ਪਾਣੇ ਸਰਬਤ ਦਾ ਪਲਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਬੋਲੇ ਸੋ ਨਿਹਾਲ ਸਤ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਪਲੀਜ਼ ਬੀ ਸੀਟਡ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਵੈਰੀ ਮਚ ਆਈ ਵਿਲ ਜਸਟ ਟੇਕ ਹਾਫ ਅ ਮਿੰਟ our ardas is done by every baptized sikh at least 3 times a day the gist of the ardas prayer is we start with guru nanak dev ji and the prayer ends with guru nanak dev ji today's ardas particularly is to say rest in peace queen her majesty queen elizabeth ii and the best wishes for the um, royal family her majesty the queen was very much loved by very well respected by every person on the earth so we are all here to pay our respect as she community is part of the big part of the greenwich community our adas <coughs> guru nanak dev ji was our first guru ji of sikhs and also ends with guru nanak dev ji name nanak naam chardi kala tere pane sarvat ka pala <clears throat> that means with the name of guru nanak everyone all mankind should remain positive may you and your loved ones and all mankind be blessed stay safe and stay healthy vai guru ji ka khalsa vai guru ji ki fateh thank you chalo ji Chairman of Catford and Bromley Synagogue Eddie Aram The following prayer was compiled by the chief rabbi uh, Mervis and was recited at the Shabbat morning services in all synagogues last Saturday. Lord of the universe, the supreme king of kings in heaven and on earth. We the members of this holy congregation together with all the communities of the United Hebrew Congregation of the Commonwealth deeply mourn the passing of our sovereign lady Queen Elizabeth II who has gone to her eternal rest. In an age of profound change, she signified order and justice, and in times of tension, she offered generosity of spirit. A defender of faith with an unfailing sense of duty, she was a steadfast guardian of liberty, a symbol of unity and a champion of justice. in all the lands of her domain clothed in strength and dignity she spoke with wisdom and the law of kindness was on her tongue she watched over the ways of her nation and never ate the bread of idleness in life she was a most gracious monarch who occupied a throne of distinction and honor in death may her legacy inspire the nations of the world to live together in righteousness and peace may you grant her majesty queen elizabeth ii perfect rest forevermore under the protective cover of your divine wings and let us say amen High priest Lilari Gimraya of Pash 
Pashuda Pantinar Temple. Namaste, everybody. I visit here from Pashupatina Temple, UK, and Greenish, Royal Greenish Borough of Nepali community, and Pashupatina Temple. Original Pashupatina Temple in Kathmandu, Nepal. The Her Majesty Queen second visit Pashupatina Temple in twice. Today we are gathered here, pray for Queen here today. And I, I pray for peace and harmony for her soul. Om Swastina Indra Vridha Sravaha Swastina Pukha Vishaveda Swastina Starcho Arista Nemi Swastino Priyas Patir Dadhatu Om Trambakam Yajamahe Sugandim Pusti Vardhanam Urbaru Kami Babandhanan Brityor Mukchi Yamam Rutat Om Bhur Bhubaswaha Tatsavitur Varenyam Bhargo Devasya Dimahi Dio Yonaha Prachodayat Om Bhur Bhubaswaha Tatsavitur Varenyam Bhargo Devasya Dimahi Dio Yonaha Prachodayat Om Asatoma Sat Gamaya Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya Mrityorma Amritam Gamaya O Lord, lead me from the unreal to the real. Lead me from darkness to light. Lead me from death to immortality. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Om, thank you. Reverend Mike Leader, Chair of the Ecumenical Borough Deans. Let us pray. The eternal God is our refuge, and underneath are the everlasting arms. Gracious God and Heavenly Father, we bless your holy name for all that you have given us through the life of your servant, Queen Elizabeth. We give you thanks for her love of family and her gift of friendship, for her selfless dedication to duty and her devotion to this nation and the nations of the Commonwealth, for her grace, dignity and courtesy, and for her generosity and love of life. We praise you for the courage that she showed in testing times and for the depth and witness of her Christian faith. May we continue to be inspired by her example. May she rest in peace and rise in glory. And we offer these prayers together with all the unspoken prayers that rest upon our hearts through Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you. Those who can, please stand for the national anthem. God save our gracious King, long live our noble King, God save the King. Send him
Thank you. Please be seated. May I ask the Bishop of Woolwich to come forward to close this evening with a blessing. Can I, on behalf of all of us, say a big thank you to the worshipful mayor and all the leaders of this council that's put this service together. Let's show our appreciation to them. And as we go from here, one of the great things about the faith which was in Her Majesty Elizabeth the Queen was the hope that God gives us even in times of difficulties. And so I bring to you tonight the blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon each one of you and all your loved ones. And today, especially with the royal family and our nation, as we mourn the passing of the late Her Majesty, Queen Elizabeth II. Amen. Thank you, Bishop, and thank everyone for attending tonight. Thank you. <laughs>